Do you like animes? The character David from Cyberpunk Edge Runners, he had an extraordinary and wild journey because he had an unfair advantage. One key factor to wealth, it's family. Because when there's no one else there for you, your family will be the last people on earth who will help you unconditionally. Tell one thing you don't like about Nefex. What made you decide that you should start a GMV channel? I wanted to make a name for myself. You see, when I was in school, I felt like I wasn't anything special. In fact, there were days where I'd be dreading to go to school because I wasn't so good in certain subjects and there were certain energies from people that I simply avoided. Some parts of the education were made to believe that our only option is to work a job for someone else in order to make a living and school trains us to live that lifestyle. But I've always found it fascinating growing up and seeing YouTubers making a living for being a content creator and I wanted to try that out. <laughs> inspired me to look for something greater than what was laid out to me by society. This only fueled more energy in me as I had something to look forward to after school. Making GMVs were my strength, it gave me a purpose and it's because of that reason that I stick to it to this day. Focus on your strength and let go of your weaknesses. Yes. You were never really good at maths anyway. Your strength is what will get you somewhere in life, but your weaknesses will only slow you down. Azora also asked, do you like animes? If so, what's your favorite one so far? I've only seen a handful of animes so far, and if I was to watch an anime, it would be mainly because I'm looking for a unique story that cannot be found from movies and TV shows. Animes like Attack on Titan, Violet Evergarden and Cyberpunk Edge Runners are the ones I've seen this year and I like all three. Why? Because they're all unique and have a place on this world. You have to understand, anything we watch for entertainment is a form of escapism. When someone tells you a story, you immediately forget you're in a room with them and are transported into that world of that storyteller. Similarly with anime, you get attached to the characters and the universe to the point where you want to associate yourself with them because it makes you feel like you belong in that group, in that world. But when a character that you like dies or when the anime ends, you'd be overwhelmed with sadness and fear knowing that your life isn't as exciting or amazing like the ones from the story. So you kind of have to be your own protagonist of your own story if you want to create that life you see from animes. Yes, sir. True happiness doesn't come through escapism. It comes through facing your fears and proving yourself. Have you ever thought about doing any sorts of MVs except for GMVs? If I was to create any form of music videos, it would be AMVs. I'd have AMVs co-siding with GMVs on this channel. Would you like to see that? I'm not about to sit through hours of anime just to find that perfect scene to add into the music video. Maybe if I hire AMV editors, then you'll probably see AMVs on this channel. But as of right now, I'm focusing more on GMV shorts, you know, with these cute little motivational quotes. Don't give a fuck. When you don't care or react to their BS, people get scared. They realize they have no control over your emotions. Surely. Someone asked, can you please tell me the meaning of BS, please? It means bullshit. <laughs> what about this? Your life only becomes better when you create your own upward spiral. Until then, you will be dragged down by others.
I don't think so. Keyblader Wielder asked, What's your favorite singer slash band? Kitty Cat also asked, What are your top five musical artists that you like working with the most? So both are good questions. I have a lot of musical artists and bands that I like a lot. I can't individually pick on any of them, but you can always find the ones that I really like based on the amount of GMVs I made with their songs. I appreciate all the musicians that reach out to me and allows me to monetize their tracks on this channel. I think you guys are like the bloodstream of what's keeping this music video communities alive. And as a result, I do my very best to make your work known to my growing channel, my fans and audience. Relax Edits World asked, what about a setup tour along with Mining Rig and House? I won't do a house tour, but I will show you my setup as a GMV editor. So first off, why did I choose to put books above my computer? It is to remind myself of all the knowledge I've gained from reading these books. That way, if I feel like I've derailed myself from my purpose, I can always refer back to these lessons I've learned from these books. And this goes the same with my silver award. It is a reminder that it is possible to be a full-time GMV editor here on YouTube. Now underneath it is my big ass monitor. This is literally perfect for video editing and also for day trading because you have all the real estate of this space. If I open up Vegas, I have the latest Vegas with me and here it is one of my latest projects, the GMV Crazy. Just looking at the timeline itself, you can literally see how wide the space is, which will be very beneficial for any video, professional video editors. That's quite big. I do highly recommend getting a large monitor Certainly. because it will help assist you <laughs> with your editing workflow. Yeah. And over here we have my Blue Yeti microphone. It still works perfectly. I have no reason to upgrade because it still makes my voice sound crisp whenever I do my voiceovers. It is mounted on a blue compass arm as well as I've attached a shock mount to it and also a boom, whatever you call this. Over by here, Logitech 4K Brio webcam. It's great for vlogging, daily vlogs and whenever I'm day trading. And so I'm using the Alienware keyboard I'm all Alienware here. I do like the fact that I'm able to scroll up or down for the volume here, makes things easier. And then I'm using the Razer mouse. It's like 8K Hertz, so it's pretty fast for gaming. And of course, here is my system, Alienware Aurora R12. I bought this last year in 2021, and it still works perfectly to this day. I'm able to produce 4K 60 FPS GMVs with this system. Mad. <laughs> it hasn't always been like this. There was a time when I didn't have all this but a simple laptop. So this is the laptop, one of the early laptops I used. I got this in 2015 for around 400 pounds. It's a HP and I made these type of GMVs with it. And then in 2018, I decided to upgrade a bit. I bought myself a second laptop, which was this. It's a HP again, but this time it uses the GTX 1050 graphics card, which was a huge upgrade from my previous laptop. I was able to create these GMVs with it. You always wanna give right down to business, say you wanna save me, but I promise God ain't there. That was all right. It allowed me to actually make 1080p GMVs and also play low settings, high-end games like Kingdom Come Deliverance. <laughs> Dual Raman asked, how you get the copyright of all the songs or animations you use in your GMVs? I contact the artist 
or the artist contacts me or I simply use copyright free music for my GMVs. As for animations, all the animations consist of game clips and trailers. Those are usually free to use anyway. Overall, there has to be some form of exchange. Value is an exchange. When we get something for free, we tend not to value it as much as if we paid a price for it. So I exchange the attention of my fans and audience to the musicians that I use their songs of or the animations I use, which I usually credit in a description of each videos. Krishna Sharma asked, how many games have you played in your videos? Alva Knight also asked, have you played the games you make GMVs from? I have played a couple of games, but I don't really play games nowadays or many video games nowadays because I have things to do. Playing around and being entertained robs me of making money and being productive. So the only games I really play is the game of life and you can see it through all the contents I've produced over the years. Some would play video games to upgrade their characters. I play the game to upgrade my life. I highly recommend you do the same because life is a massive game but most of you aren't even playing. You're spectating. You're spectating other people's lives. The only reason I felt insignificant in school or at a job was because I was observing other people's lives instead of being the observed. I became the observed the moment I started making YouTube videos. I am playing a game and I challenge it every day. <laughs> Arso Tome asked, what was your favorite video you've done? The real Gia Como, what is your favorite GMV? So both are similar questions and are both are really good. It's a hard question to answer because there are a lot of GMVs I made this year that I really like. But if I was to choose one or two, I would say GMV Make Me Believe and GMV Render Vu are my favorites. Dance with me into the darkness. GMV Make Me Believe is dark, is epic, and watching it is like you're in a fantasy cinematic movie. The song itself speaks of hopelessness, but also a spark of life, and it's up to you as the viewer to experience the journey of this world. GMV Rendar Vu is completely different. It has a late night vibe and a touch of dark romance. So if you're feeling a bit spicy tonight, go ahead and watch that. Let's take a ride, take a drive, tell me what you fantasize. Tell me what's between those stars. I just wanna fuck off your eye. I just wanna fuck off on night. Thai Inspire EDM asked, Thought I always wonder how you escape YouTube copyright. I don't. I accept the rules and minimize the potential risks involved. Like a game, I understand that in order to survive YouTube, your channel has to be in a good standard to YouTube's policies. But YouTube policies are constantly changing, so as a creator, I have to constantly change with it. And one of the ways I do this is by having a network of people in this industry. They tell you their issues, you collect their data, and now you're well informed. The more information you collect from these people, the better equipped you are in handling these problems. Because get this, it's only going to be a problem for you when you lack knowledge. You'll be like, oh, why did this happen to me? I need help. <laughs> I have a lot of knowledge in this industry, that's why for over 10 years, I'm still around. So you can see presented to Jacko's edit for passing 100,000 subscribers, YouTube. Do you remember your first subscriber? Yes, I do. My friends from high school were my first subscriber. Michael asked, 
would you try to make any Viking GMVs with some Nordic Viking style music too? Sure, my channel does consist of a variety of music, so I'm open to that stuff. Desert Maker asked, would you be interested in doing an MMV with a remake or edit of the immigrant song from Led Zeppelin? Unfortunately, I don't do MMVs simply because I've grown this channel to be more for GMVs. However, I am open to a variety of things. If people want to see MMVs, then I'll be sure to consider it also. Been a while since I made an MMV. Prabhat Gupta asked, Tell one thing you don't like about Nefex. First off, I really like Nefex and how they're able to produce a multitude of music at a consistent basis. Any creators who are consistent at what they do shows how disciplined they are, making them a lead example in the industry. And since I really like a lot of Nefex songs, I would love to create GMVs for every single Nefex releases. But unfortunately, I don't have the time. After all, I have a channel to run. I got people to communicate with and things to do. And making GMVs of every Nefex song releases is just not gonna be possible. So I don't like the fact that I can't do that. If everybody died leaving me and you alive, well, that would be just fine. Under Gamer asked, where are you from? I'm situated in United Kingdom, specifically South Wales. I think South Wales is a fine place to live in as long as you're making enough money to survive these highly inflated prices, then you can live a content life. What's your girlfriend's name? Desperate to know? I keep my relationships private. What they don't know, they can't ruin. What's your age? Turned 24 this year, been making GMVs since the age of 12 to 13. And do you know how to make a game or your own game animated video? Surprised you ask that because I have made my own video game in the past. It's called Lost in Fantasy 2. I made it in 2017 using the RPG Maker MV software back when I had a lot of time and I was experimenting on my businesses. It's good to experiment while you're still young because you have the time and less responsibilities. So I highly recommend you find your niche because it will help you find your purpose at a much early age. Apart from that, go ahead and play my game if you're into this story-driven, dark, atmospheric journey. Silver Crow the Gamer asked, how can I be as amazing as you? They go through hell but don't give up, instead they keep moving forward. I find that individual, by your definition, to be amazing. So if you find someone you admire to be like, they can really motivate you to keep moving forward and continue. Because it's only impossible until you see someone making it then it becomes possible. Now, what are the things that can make you an amazing person? To my eyes, I think a person is amazing when they have a purpose. But how could you find your purpose? You have to revisit your childhood self back when you were around eight years old, back before society corrupted you with their ideas on what you should do in your life. What was it that excited you the most? What was it that kept you up all night the most? Where you'd be excited to tell your friends about it and do it every day. Oftentimes, that is your purpose. And get this, even to this day, as an adult, you still find yourself drawn to your childhood purpose. You still like the idea of pursuing it. Once you found your purpose, creatively find a way to make income from it, make money 
from what you are passionate about, your purpose. Obviously, when you have children, your entire purpose changes. It's no longer about you, but the survival of your kids. As someone who likes to play video games, I've always liked the idea of making money while gaming. Now, it's possible to do that in this day and age through live stream on Twitch or YouTube. In my case, I found mine through GMVs. Teller Hokega asked, what is your net worth in liquid? So for all those who don't know what that question means, it means how much money do you have in cash ready to spend? And I would say I'm going to have to keep that private because there's certain information I keep private and I'm able to tell, talk about it publicly. But I will say though, it's enough to buy a house. So I'm very fortunate to not be in any debt. I think being in debt robs you of your future. This is why I never was appealed to go to university. I think university is essential if you're all about working in a professional fields. We need jobs like that. I also think that if you're all about making money, then going to university isn't essential at all. A student who finishes high school, their net worth is zero, assuming they're not in any debt as a kid, right? But the moment they go to university, their net worth drops because they're accepting student loans, they're receiving student loans. However, you compare that to a student who just finished high school A-levels and they started to work a job, their net worth is slowly rising up because they're making money and they're not in any student loan, no debt. So I always had that mindset of trying to avoid any bad debt. You know what's also one key factor to wealth? It's family. Because when there's no one else there for you, your family will be the last people on earth who will help you unconditionally. When you're trying to build wealth at an early age, it's relieving to know that your family is supporting you financially, which means you have a lot of time to take calculated risks and find out what business ventures works for you. Any successful businesses are funded by someone to begin with. For you, it starts with family. For others, it's their 9 to 5. Either way, when you do take that independent route, then your 9 to 5 is your most powerful wealth building tool, especially in the beginning of the journey. At least with family, you have the financial support as you continue to build your wealth. And when you're ready, you'll be more prepared to live away. Be the best and fuck the rest. If I leave you in free, free.